There was a time when I believed that we would not be able to overcome all sin. I thought that maybe we could, as Pastor Ron said, everything but unknown sins, you know, sins of ignorance, we wouldn't be able to overcome that. But the more that I began to study into the message of righteousness by faith, I realized the power that is available to us. Something that we uh, don't experience enough of. That power is capable to, pre to present us to the Father faultless, not after Jesus has come to get us, but prior to that we will be faultless and he will present us as faultless. And so this is the power that uh, we're going to be restored to. After all, if we're not able to do that, uh, then why did Jesus come? Because you see, Adam and Eve lost the state of perfection and sinlessness through their disobedience, through sin. So Jesus is coming back to bring us back to that state, right? Before we can be safely put into the Garden of Eden again. So if that doesn't happen, then what would be the point of Jesus coming? He would just be coming here just to die for our sins and we remain the same? That doesn't make much sense. Okay. That which Adam and Eve lost through willful sin is what God wants to restore in us permanently. Christ made a provision through willful loving obedience so we can receive the promise of the Father, receive spiritual bodies that he has for us, and so that we can never be separated again. This is his desire. This is his, I would say, burning desire that he wants to be with us and never be separated again. This is what he wants our mind to be like as well. So that when he comes, we will be very glad. And we will say, there is our God. We have waited for him. We have longed for him. We wanted him to come so that we could be with him forever.